Hello friends, it's Sunshine and welcome to my Vega studio today. So for the past couple of months, I have been doing a super secret project and I can finally reveal to you a series of fancy coloring books that I have done with Vega Castell. Now, these books are pretty great. I think they're pretty awesome, actually. But to prove it to you, I am getting in some small humans with me today to try it out and give you a bit of a review. So without any further ado, let's go get started. We need to ch choose a book, okay? So, well, you haven't seen them all yet. Just hang on. So, why did you want to do this book? Because you see, this girl has a sword. She has a sword. That's fair enough. Hey! Let's have a look through the coloring book and see if we can find a page that you guys want to color. I really like this one. <gasps> you like that one start. already? There's I so like many. That one. I don't like that one. You don't like it? Okay. I like mm. it one. <laughs> you like a that llama. One. I, like a llama. I just want to see all that. You're doing the corn. You're doing the unicorn corn. No. I like that one. <laughs> so, which book do you think you would like to colour in? I like this one. Unicorns in Australia? Good choice. Sorry. Oh, the big pineapple! Oh my gosh! Speaking of big pineapples, do you like pineapple? You know, some people like pineapple and some people don't. It's okay. It's okay. I found out the pineapple, like when it's in your mouth, it's actually eating your mouth. But then when what? it goes into your tummy, it stops. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. So, what one are you doing, Pip? The violin. The mermaid playing violin. Very good. What one are you doing, Alex? I'm doing the unicorn animation. Awesome. Okay, so let's go nuts. We've got pencils, we've got textures, and we've, we've got fat textures and thin textures and crayons. I'm glad you said you like unicorns. Because. Unicorn books. Unicorn books. What color are you going for? Ooh. Green for the fishy bits. Would you like to be a mermaid? Yeah. Yeah? Why? Swim. You get to I swim like all the time. Swimming. I like swimming too. Okay, so sun. we're doing the girl with the kite. No, the sun. Yeah, but the sun's with the girl with the kite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then my mom used one of my canvases. Oh, rude. Mum, come on. Yeah, <laughs> she, she uses them like she uses my money without oh. my permission. <laughs> So, what's your favourite colour, Pip? It is... It's kind of purplish and it's a pink skylight. Is there any colours here that are like it? That one? Uh, oh, that's very pretty. It's like a kind of fuchsia pink, isn't it? It's like a purpley pink. Yeah. Pretty. What about you, Alice? I like this sort of yellow. Oh, the bright, bright yellow. Hey, I know what's better. What? Pencil. <gasps> okay, texture. A texture is better. Alright, texture is better. For the kite? Ah, oh no! I can Lucky they wash off easy, hey? Yeah, wash off. So what's your favourite colour in it? Um, I like this kind of tealy colour. Oh. What's your favourite colour? Wait. Red. Oh, I just need to get one more because okay. two favourite colours. Okay. Blue. Oh. Nope. So you've got two favourite colours. Is this purple or blue? So red and blue are your favourites. Yes. Look how much they're in there. What's your favourite colour? Purple. Purple is your favourite colour. Well, that would make sense. <laughs> What's your favourite colour, Phoenix? Gold. Gold. Ooh, fancy. What do you prefer using when you colour in mm. at home? Well, I just use a bunch of different things. Yeah? Mm. Like, do you like pencils better or textures or...? Well, I don't specifically only use one. What do you prefer to use, Casper? Pencils or textures? Texas. Texas. Why? Because they use, they do better. They do better? Yeah, I mean pencils. Do you like textures or pencils better? Pencils. Why? Because they're really calm and they like feel better and they don't take as long. Yeah, I understand that. Do you like the colours that are here? Yeah. Yeah? 
there's like more colours. Yeah. What do you think your favourite thing is to colour with, guys? Um, probably. I like this one. Texters? You like crayons? I yeah. like crayons. So just crayons and fun. Whenever I want to colour with texture, um, the teachers and my friends are going, you don't take too long with texture, it's quicker with pencil. Have you ever used thick textures? Yes. Yes? Which ones do you prefer? These. Yeah, why? They're a bit thinner so they can get in gaps. Oh my gosh, I love your emu, Alice. He is so cute. He's a rainbow emu or emu rain. rain. Limited edition. Limited edition. My hair's done. Your hair's done. Well done. Yeah. What colour would you call that? Blue or green? Um, kind of um, like... I like turquoise colour. Turquoise, yeah, you're right. That's a very big colour. Normally I like go slowly on the outline and then I like just, I just do like quickly <laughs> on the inside. Do you think that the textures were a good choice for your mermaid? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think so too, because it's nice and bright, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. On <laughs> what colours are you using on the words, Phoenix? I'm using blue. Oh, I might use blue too. That's a good idea. Why did you do your mermaid hair like that? I wanted it to be pretty. Well, you've achieved that. Well done. <laughs> Can I poke yours? <gasps> okay, what colour should I do its top? Probably green, right? Yeah? Okay. Maybe like this shade? Yeah, that's a good shade. That's a nice bright one too, isn't it? Ooh. Maybe like do like that light green and then like that a bit darker. That's a really good idea, like a, a gradient of green. Blue sausage. A blue sausage. <laughs> Have you ever eaten a blue sausage before? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanna colour in the lamp. No Cause that fat's a little usually red. Usually, yeah, or pink, red or pink. I'm gonna paint mine blue. Is that weird, Phoenix? <laughs> If I make my corn blue. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like colouring in? Um, because I get to show people my work and then they want to do colouring. What colours are you doing your unicorn over there, um, Alice? I don't really know. I don't, he's he's rainbow. looking pretty cool though. I love the rainbow horn. I feel like that's very appropriate. You know my mummy got her eye bun, her eye. Wow, it's tattooed. Oh, fancy. Wow. Like, Mine are not tattooed. Mommy. Are your eyebrows tattooed? No. Are you sure? No. Maybe your daddy did it in your sleep. <gasps> no. Did he? No. <laughs> I think yours is better, Phoenix. No, I think yours is great. I don't know. I think yellow is more unicorn, unicorn, unicorn colours. Green's a bit funny. No, I like it. Wow, that's a really bright yellow. Look. Yeah, that's a highlight. Holy one. moly! Yeah, it's a highlighter one. Wow. Like Wait, what what is this book? A princess, a fairy, or a mermaid, what would you be? Maybe a fairy, because then I could fly around at school. Yeah, that sounds cool. And once when we had free time in art class, I drew like um a random drawing. What did you draw? I draw a poo. And um <laughs> I draw my sister pooping out the poo and I said, poo poo's poo. And then I said, aka okay, Lila's poo. And then I said, um, poo poo, aka okay, hey, Lila. A few moments later. And I drew, um, I forgot what else I drew. <laughs> a duck with a unicorn would be fun, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Or a unicorn riding a duck or a duck riding a unicorn. What about <laughs> a duck unicorn? A duck -a corn. Well, there is a lot of glitter on there. And honestly, more is more when it comes to glitter, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. This is this is gonna be rainbow, only blue and red. Yeah, it's a rainbow with blue and red. <laughs> so we coloured and coloured and coloured the fabled unicorn corn, emus, and of course my dream home, the big pineapple. And we also did lots of rainbows in just blue and red. I think these books turned out really well, guys. The kids seemed to like them a lot and it was so much fun coloring in with them. Now, if you'd like to get yourself a copy of these excellent books, and why wouldn't you? They're pretty awesome. 
You can get them from Officeworks and hopefully any good retailer in the coming months. So they're part of the Faber-Castell Red Series, so they should be sold alongside any of the other Faber-Castell Red Series products. So keep an eye out. How's it going? Mine's nearly done. Mine's done. Yours is done? Mine? I just have to do my eyeballs. You're just doing the eyeballs, okay. And there we have all our colouring in. What do you think, guys? Yeah? We had a good time colouring. Did you have fun? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. yeah. So this is our colouring in. So what do you think it is? Um, I'm not finished. <laughs> She's not finished. I'm not finished either. <laughs> That's mine. Ooh, fancy. Can you do this? Fancy. Wow. Fancy. Okay. Did you like the books? Yes. What is your favourite bit about the books? Um, the sword. The sword. Okay. Good, good call. It just makes everything so much better. Ta da! Ready. <laughs> Ready. I did the tail like Harley Quinn. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so, Alice, what do you think of the colouring in books? I think they're amazing. Oh, I think that's they're amazing big price. too. Do you? So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much to our little helpers today. You guys were awesome. So today's episode wasn't actually sponsored by Faber-Castell, but I do need to say a big thank you to them because they gave us a heap of art supplies for our little friends to go home with. So each of our kids are going home with pencils, textures, a heap of other stuff, and of course, a copy of each of my coloring books. Yay! <laughs> if you want to see more of my work, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. And from me and all of my friends of today, stay safe and keep on painting. Bye!